Welcome everyone. Lumion's new photo matching feature is here and we have three video tutorials to guide you through it and show you some great tips so you can get the most out of it. In this first video, we'll go through the basics. The other two videos will focus on more advanced uses of this tool. You can follow along by opening Lumion and loading the example scene, Van Man and Villa, which I'll be using to demonstrate this new feature. Photo matching allows you to place your 3D models inside pictures you've taken of the site your design will eventually occupy. Before you start photo matching, hide all of the objects in your scene which you do not want to see in the photo match. You can do this by moving them to different layers and then hiding those layers. To start, go to the photo creation area. Click on store camera in an empty spot. Now, Click on the Effects button to add an effect. Click on Photo Matching, which you can find in the Effects Overview. You'll see Photo Matching added to your list of effects that will be applied to your image. Now, you can click on the pencil icon called Edit to start editing the photo matching effect. You will see an example already loaded. If you click here on the Load Example option, you can see that Lumion includes several other examples which are optimized to show you how to use the photo matching tool for different camera perspectives. Select the example that most closely matches your own photo. In our case, we will use a photo taken at ground level from outside, so the second or third example photo from the top are the most suitable. Let's go with the second. What we see now is two pairs of lines, a blue pair for the z-axis, and a red pair for the x-axis. The lines of each pair determine the angle from each vanishing point of the two-point perspective we are recreating. The blue lines run on the front of the house and the red lines on the side. You will need to adjust these after loading your own photo to replace the example. You can also see a cube floating in the air. This represents the perspective that a model will get given the lines you placed. To move the cube, you can click and drag it around from its large gray anchor point. You can also change the cube into a grid. This can help you check if the perspective is correct. Let's now switch the photo by loading one of your own. Click on the photo's thumbnail to load your photo. If you'd like to follow along with the same photo I'm using, please download it from the link in the video description. The next step is to repeat the process we saw in the example using the new photo we loaded. Luckily, the house in our photo is made up much like a cube with walls that are perpendicular to each other, which will perfectly represent the perspective of our photo. Let's place the blue and red axis lines on the house of this photo, making sure that the lines of the same axis are pointing towards the same vanishing point. Doing this accurately is crucial to get our 3D model to match and fit nicely within the photo later on. If you're using a different photo, which doesn't contain a house like the one we're using here, make sure you align your lines with objects in the photo that, in reality, are 90 degree, four-sided objects that are parallel to the ground. Some examples of this would be two perpendicular walls, a swimming pool, or a table. After placing these lines, Lumion can derive the point from which the photo was taken. This is needed to get the same perspective for your 3D model in Lumion. When adjusting these points, you can hold Shift to slow down the adjustment and precisely set the position. We also recommend that you pull the lines out as far as you can. This will give you even more control over the angle of the perspective lines. When adjusting the red and blue lines, you can try different reference objects down here, such as boxes and planes, or you can click here to turn it off. Dragging the box through the image provides you with a good first impression on whether the perspective is good or not. Next, click on this button to place a reference point on your model. I will place it at this corner of the building. Click back when you're done. Now, you can click and drag to move the reference point until your model sits where you want it to be. You can also scale the model and change the orientation to match the photo. The shift key can be used here as well for more precise control. You may have noticed that when the model was loaded, it was at 50% transparency by default. 
This is to help you quickly compare and adjust the scale and orientation of your model to match the photo. You can increase that to 100%. You can also adjust the X and Z lines slightly if you see that the perspective was a little off. Once you're happy with the photo match, you can click here to go back. We'll now start my favorite part, which is adding effects to the image to help the 3D model blend in better with the photo. Any photo will have its own unique lighting, exposure, color saturation, and sun direction. So it's important that we match that with the effects we add to our model. The sky on the original photo looks overcast. Let's add an overcast sky effect to make the lighting on the villa look similar to the photo. We'll need to turn the heading of the sun so that it comes from the same direction as in the photo. The villa looks a bit darker than the original house. You can make it lighter with the color correction effect. Let's set the limit high slider to 0.7. There's a part of the roof on the old house that's still visible. You could take it out using an image editing tool like Photoshop, or you can place a tree in your Lumion scene at that location to hide it. Any 3D object from Lumion will be placed in front of anything in the photo. This technique can be used to hide any other elements from the original photo, or if you want to place plants and objects in the yard that your design will include. We can now render the photo match image. Note that Lumion creates two additional images, a photo mask and a render without the photo. These can be used in an image editor like Photoshop for post-processing. In tutorial three, I'll show you an example of this. If you want to include other elements from your design that were in other layers, you can do so using the layer visibility effect in photo mode. With this effect, we can switch on or turn off any number of layers. This allows us to quickly render different images using elements from different layers. The image quality can be further improved by placing some bushes and loading a style, for example, overcast. As you can see, it changes the appearance of the villa, so you may need to do some fine tuning on the effects, for example, in color correction. Okay, that's a good place to end this first quick start to photo matching tutorial. In our second and third video tutorial, we'll dig deeper into more advanced tips to improve the overall result. We'll also show you how to use Photoshop to erase some of the other elements of the original photo, like the white chimney, and how to place some elements of the original photo in front of the Lumion house. I'll see you in the next tutorial.